Welcome back to Stuff About Tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to write the Bessel function in MATLAB. Why would you want to know how to do this? Well, maybe you'd like to plot the Bessel function or use it in some sort of intensity plot or something. So you'd like to know how to write it. So I'll be showing you how to write the Bessel function in MATLAB today. Check out the video description as I will try and leave written instructions there. So let's get started. Um, uh, what we basically need to do is just type Bessel J, right? So this is the Bessel function of the first kind. Then you've also got the modified Bessel function of first kind, the Bessel function of the third kind, and of the second kind. These all have different um, functions. So I'm just going to go with the Bessel function of the first kind, Bessel J. And then I'm going to type a pair of curly brackets, I mean a pair of brown brackets. And then the first input is basically going to be the order of the Bessel function. So you can just let that be n and then decide what n will be at any point. You can also just let it be the actual integer. So you can just be 1 or 2, etc. And then oh. and then the next input entry is going to be what the Bessel function is dependent on, so the independent variable of the Bessel function, and I'm just going to let that be x. And yeah, that's basically it. And then you can basically, um, x just will be a vector, and n is a numerical value, and you can essentially then call that function as you like. And yeah, that's basically it. If you wanted to know how to write the Bessel function in MATLAB, this is the easiest way I know how. And if you know of another way, then leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe for more videos.